Just uh, irritated his knee, overworked it a little bit, meniscus repair, overworked it a little bit, so he feels a little bit of pressure. I just cleaned up the knee with with some alcohol. So this is the thing. This is called a effusion. You see, the, it's almost like a bubble right there. Effusion. If it's over here, that's called bursitis. But over here, that's a joint effusion. So if I push here, I can feel uh, the fluid wave over there because this whole area here is the knee capsule. So it gets full. Okay. Yeah. You see the effusion, and this is where people always notice. They say, "Hey, doc, when I when I bend my knee." I have a bump and that's and it's not it's not a mass it's just fluid so so what do we do we can just for comfort purposes we're going to aspirate it okay aspiration means remove fluid so I get everything ready here the most important thing is landmarks if you're going to do this you have to know your landmarks okay why don't you go like right over here so so nice so this is the level see this is the patella the, the lateral border of the patella right there quadriceps tendon is right about there Nice mobile patella. I'm going to go underneath it. So I'm going to find my spot right about there. So it's the upper pole of the patella. That's the mid patella. Upper pole of the patella underneath. I can feel the patella right there. I'm going to go underneath. And I'm going to be aiming my needle sort of up a little bit to match uh, the angle of this patella. We don't want to go like this because it will hit the femur. Okay. We just want to go under the kneecap. And I have my ultrasound here as well. As a backup, in, I make an indentation with the needle cap of the needle, and then I clean off the skin. I already cleaned it off with some alcohol, but just to be extra safe because we are dealing with a joint, and if a joint space gets infected, it becomes a terrible, terrible, terrible problem. So I do a double prep here with alcohol and betadine. There it is, start in the middle, go out. Okay, then I I, I do a I do use a 27 gauge needle here to start it out. You can also use freeze spray. Un piquete muy chiquito, okay? Mm -hmm. A little shake like that. So I'm actually in the joint. I can tell I'm in the joint because of the way it felt. Okay, I'm in the joint. Let me set it go like this. I'm gonna put a little bit on the skin, go back in there. Now this is what some people don't do this, I do. I just leave it there so that I know where my trajectory is gonna be. And I'm letting the local anesthetic take effect for just a few more seconds there. I switch it to my final needle, my my uh, my 22 gauge. Some people can just go right in with a 22 gauge. That's fine as well. And this is what I like to do. I just follow the trajectory of that last of this needle. I don't lose sight to where I am. Put this down. You get that otra vez, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. See, the shake distracts the patient. I'm in. And I can just leave that right there, safe, get rid of this needle over there. And then I aspirate. Okay, I'm gonna aspirate the effusion. So now I'm gonna go ahead, now that I'm ready, I'm gonna take this out. Once again, 22 gauge needle. It's got the dark gray hub. And then I aspirate. So you see the color, you can zoom in on it. It's like a, a, a clear yellow, amber color it looks like like Budweiser okay it looks like Budweiser so if that's what it looks like it's safe to say that it's normal looking joint fluid normal looking synovial joint fluid if it comes out murky and cloudy kind of like heaven wisen or wheat beer you may want to do an inflammatory workup to find out if there is some sort of rheumatological problem but this is it right here I'm going to continue removing the fluid I'm going to remove the fluid and then I'm going to check the patient in just a second. We're going to do a, a post aspiration exam really quick. Okay, yeah, sorry. So I just finished yeah. removing the, the effusion. This last one has a little bit of, a, of a, a tint or a blush and that's because of the, the bleeding that occurs sometimes towards the end. And Band-Aid. Okay. Lift them up a teeny bit. Let's get this out of the way. Puedo doblar su rodilla, por favor? Okay. So you still have a little bit of swelling here, pero mejor, verdad? Yeah. You don't see the como esa, esa, no, esa no. sensación de piedra, no, yeah. and then you see, look that, oh, and then yeah. you can straighten it out like this. You don't have that fullness. So in this particular case, this is not an this isn't an arthritic effusion. Oh, this is just a post surgical, just a post surgical uh, swelling that occurs just from overuse. This is Dr. Mora. Hopefully, uh, ortho family, you guys. Uh, 
uh, learn something about knee effusions. When they're done properly, they don't hurt, and that's the most important message is number one, do it properly, do it sterilely to prevent a, a complication, and do it right so that you don't hurt the patient. Thank you.